Hey guys, we're back in the shop today. I'm working on some, working on the tractor. Uh, I bought a tractor a few months back. Um, it's a Belarus. Everyone around here calls it Belarus. And uh, it's not been running so great. When I got it, it was smoking. So I'm in the process of figuring out what is causing the smoking. And just doing some much needed maintenance that has been long overdue on it. So today I'm working on the injectors. Uh, I pop tested these injectors probably a few months ago. Pressure, the opening pressure that these injectors were set to was considerably lower than what this tractor requires. So maybe this, I think these were opening around 2,000, 2,200 PSI. And I think that's normal for most older tractors. So I think it was serviced by someone at some point who worked on older tractors, but this one, apparently needs about 3100, 3200 PSI. So I'm going to take these injectors here and I'm gonna turn up the opening pressure on them just by setting the spring inside. Um, and uh, I'm gonna see later if that works any better. So if you have a similar uh, injector like this, to change the uh, opening uh, pressure, you have to change tension on the spring here inside, so we're just going to remove this cap first. Throw it in the vise there. Some of the times they stick on quite hard. This, These ones were a bit of a pain, so I'm just going to use the uh, impact to take them off. Once we get that off, we can see set screw and the little walking nut. So I'm just going to loosen up that lock nut before I take it out of the vise. Okay, so now we're just gonna head out to the pop tester. I'm just gonna take a reading of what we're at and I'll show you how to adjust it. You can see here I've got a little setup here. I've got my pop tester set up with a little bucket just to catch the uh, fuel spray. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to do this quick so I don't get to stick out in the rain. So you attach your injector to the pop tester. Now I'm just going to pump my pressure tester. You can see there it was opening about 2,500 PSI. Now I'm just going to turn that set screw clockwise, increase the pressure. I'm just going to get one full turn. Try again. We're just about right where I want it. We're about 3,200 psi. So I'm just going to lock that in place there. And I'm just going to hit the garage and clean up. So it's as simple as that. If I had overturned it and I needed to reduce the pressure some, I could just turn that set screw back the other way. So we just tight turn this screw, tighten up that lock nut whenever we reach the pressure we want. And it's as simple as that. So here's a shot of the uh, tractor I purchased and I'm working on. It seems to work pretty good and hopefully they'll have it running even better. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this or different projects that I work on, please subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.